Greetings, viewers! This is SoZero22 coming at you. Wait a minute, I should do my proper intro. Dag fucking but I have a proper intro for this. Greetings, viewers! This is your host! Yes, your host is the only change, but this is your host coming at you playing a little bit of Civilization V with Ray Laser. How you guys been doing? Leave us a couple comments in the comment section for the love of all of that insanity. Please do it. I really, really want it. Please give us comments. I am begging you. Will rape you with eyes if I Oh god. Yeah, I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> Damn. What if they were like one of those psychotic people that love that type of shit? Like, oh please! Rape me with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My god. We're horrible people. <laughs> Let me make sure it's still recording. Yeah, it is. Uh, do you have any? Do we have any viewers yet? Well, technically, I have five subscribers, and at least two of them are active because most of my videos do act, get more views other than me checking over the quality and whatnot. Tokyo. Going to going to do to to the Tokyo. City state message. Had a serious dispute with Belgard Coma. Looking for power willing to help. Whoa, okay. And who now who said that? City of Kamath Kathmandu has a message. Kathmandu has had a serious dispute with Belgrade Grad Grade. Kathmandu is now looking for a major power willing to help resolve <clears throat> to resolve the issue by destroying their foe. Anyone willing to take up this offer will be handsomely rewarded. Uh, can, is, can you just like deny them? Because like we we don't want to get in the middle of anything at all right now. Uh, I just closed it. I think it's just pretty much anyone who wants to get into it. Okay. Because they weren't point... asking me specifically, they were saying anyone. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see if I can quick purchase this. Is there a way to quick buy stuff? Like, let's say you've built it partially and then you finished the, per the thing, or do you have to just continue building it? Uh, you can continue building it, or you can click on the, um, like, the city. And what, what it will do is that you, it'll bring up, like, a little sub menu and you can either buy a tile or to the left no uh, I mean buy like let's say I'm building a settler yeah. and I want and I have it about halfway done with this production is there a way to quick buy it no if you're already halfway done you might as well just keep going unless no, you just want to no, buy a whole I mean, other settler it, no the thing is is oh so I'd have to pay for a whole settler okay, yeah so I can't pay a partial price yeah I know okay uh, that's what I used to do in um, Civilization Revolution, is build until I can buy it. But yeah. Oh well, three turns until I get my next settler. I'm just going to be pumping settlers out of my main city. Because I want to claim all this land ASAP, because right now I'm pretty much in peacetime, and that's when I want to expand. Okay, so I want to do... I need to close down Steam, because I keep clicking it instead of uh, open broadcasting system, which is what I'm using to record this. Holy shit! No, 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 no! Run away, run away, run away, run away! Okay, so I need to build... Uh... I'll get another worker here in a second, one turn. Uh -huh. Let's do a Brox. Okay, so workboat, you need to go auto build improvements. Okay, so you can found a city. You people can move closer. Choose a production you oh, will build. Oh shit. Romans, uh, in this game, do the AI take your settlers if they don't have any protection? 
the AI, like the actual other AI. Yeah. Um, most of them will actually just keep out of your way for the moment until you like you declare war. Okay, so if they if my settlers are just sitting right next to a Roman archer unit, it won't just walk right over it and take them. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, they're the okay. AIs are, are peaceful until they're been declared okay, war. Okay, because that was a major issue for me in uh, Civilization Revolution. Because that's part of why I was always sending defensive units with my settlers. Yeah. Because the AI were some of the biggest dick. The AI in these games are the biggest dicks. They will sc do everything to screw you over. Okay, so I need... Of course, there were some AIs like, I'm going to declare war on you, and then basically show my military might to get you to say, please don't fuck with me more, I don't want it. Senpai, senpai, I don't want it. Senpai, please stop touching me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need another warrior. Senpai, I poop from there. <laughs> so yeah, my archer's on the bottom left of my exploration. <clears throat> are currently uh, next to a barbarian encampment. Basically, you go to the left of Tokyo and a little bit down. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, you, do they have like the little notifications on the right that pop up for you? Like, oh, a barbarian encampment has been discovered? Yep. Yeah, I can click on that and just see what the fuck's going on. Ah. Uh. Wants pearls. Connecting with research to your trade network will cause the city to... We will love the King Day increasing growth rate. Sweet. We love the king, we'll hang him later, <laughs> for now he'll live until we riot. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, uh, oh, that's not, not good. Safe until modern. And then all monarchy will be abolished. Okay, so... Based attack OP. So they did attack. No, that's experience, I think. It's fine. Library. You'll build a library in five turns. Okay, so you need to move one more. Okay, so I founded a city. Satsuma. It's actually a really good spot to put it. Because of where it's going to grow. And what it has initially. Mm hmm. It has gold. A, oh wow, a grassland, forest grassland river. That gives me one food, one production, two gold. Nice. And then two grasslands. I mean, this is a really good spot for an inland city. Yeah. I have Then I'm going to go further up to put one right. I'm going to try to find an area with a lot of forests or a lot of production, basically. Mountains and forests and whatnot. Yeah, it mm -hmm. should go really well after that. So, I think I'm going to take this air right here, because I can expand into this to get my food, and it's not too close to that, my other city, and there's plenty. This is basically going to be my production city, as uh, viewers can see. Yeah, I got two production cities right now that I'm working on. I will be having another settler next turn. It's also great to connect your cities so they can have trade routes to one another. Connect them? Is that by roads? Uh, no, but like, uh, you know how you have the borders to each city? Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Resource demanded. Cotton? Demanded? Who's saying demanded? One of my cities. Oh, okay. Let's say somebody's demanding you to give them cotton? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Connecting this resource to your trade network will cause this city to go into... Oh, okay. 
Dude, Tokyo yeah. has a okay. I've never never mind. I thought it has a 19 defense rating. I was like, what the fuck? No okay. defense rating of nine, but that also means that I get the ranged attack from my archers and also my city. Yeah, I'm building a library right now in my city. I've got a library in Tokyo, a granary in Osaka, and Kyoto is currently finishing up the settler. Satsuma is going to be making an archer. Yeah, I'm building another worker, a library, barracks, and uh, or barracks. I, I call them barracks. I don't know why. And then I'm I'm getting another worker. Go save up for the monument, or maybe a library. I think the library not, is a good choice. Now. I think granary right now. Yeah, granary. This, uh, yeah. S the city's small. I want it to grow faster. Oh yeah, how many more uh, turns until you get oh, your water mathematics? Oh, okay, I could do water mill. That's even yeah. better than a granary. Yeah. Because you have to have a river for that, and that helps research and stuff as well. I have a barracks being not built. I'll have that in my main city. Hey, how many how many more turns until your mathematics is done? Looks like it says four. Okay. Damn, I could have done that in two. <laughs> They're going to be laughing for the first, I think, three episodes? And then now it's just going to be like, I'm tired and crying on the inside and just bored in general. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, so these warriors need to now go toward the north. And these barbarian AI are stupid. <laughs> Okay, so these guys are going to go up north and see what's what. And these guys will go back you up this away. Oh, plus 15 XP for all units. Huh. Yeah. I'm just going to build a library. Don't forget, you may want to fortify those spearmen so they don't die later on. Being attacked by these guys. Oh, shit. Varian archer destroyed. Hmm. I think I'm putting another city right here. But this will be good. It will be slower. Food initially, but these forests provide food, so that'll be nice. And also, the horses are gonna give me some good food. Just talking to uh, people who can see what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, no, I understand. So yeah, for the most part. Okay, so next turn for me. But yeah, I mean, if we do any videos together and I record them, I can email them to you if you start up your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I need to yeah. adopt another policy. I mean, I may start something like that whenever I uh, move or whatever, but for right now, no, I'm, I'm gonna just do what I do. Non occupied cities? Capital and 5% unhappiness from citizens in non occupied cities. Does that mean that I founded it? Uh, if you capture an unoccupied city? No, let's say, like, a city that I founded, is that considered unoccupied versus no. a city that I captured? No, a city that you captured, I would think, would be unoccupied. If you founded one, you'd already occupy it. Okay, I thought... But if you, capture, Never mind. if you captured it, it wasn't occupied. <clears throat> That's what I think, anyway. So I'm pretty new to this as, as well. I haven't played this game since I was in, a freshman, man, in high school. Got one more turn till that city grows, and let's see here. 
what is my worker boat doing? Doing some work, catching some fish. Oh, cool. Oh, you don't even... Huh? Uh. I don't really need the extra coin. Scientist. I'm going to go with artist. Culture bomb. Start a golden age. Whoa. I just got a great artist. Nice. Consume the great person. In this. Okay. Consuming a person cause all tiles this unit is on and adjacent to become part of your borders if they belong to another player. This. Okay. What? Um, so how do I get this artist? Uh. So. The artist. What? I thought it was going to add to my culture. Maybe he needs to travel somewhere. No, I mean in my cities. I thought I could found, put him in my cities, like based based off of a previous game. But he just starts another golden age. Oh, your gold. Ah, funny, because my golden age just ended. Ah, there you go then. Well, I'm learning. Okay, we're about two minutes away from the end of the episode. Alrighty then. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, Next turn! Oh, it's funny that it actually advises that it builds, it builds the city where I want to build it. <laughs> okay, this barbarian encampment has done nothing to attack me back. Attack back. To fight back. You know, could see you want silk. Or Romans. I think that's the same archer from earlier. I found another city right over here, but I want to go over here so I can get that production rate going and then just have this be my next one and then maybe. Maybe, I don't know if I want to put one down here, but just because, you know, spam cities, I guess. Who knows, I think the next one should be in this general area, because I want Mount Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even put one right right here, because of the sheep, there's some fish right there, and, and I might be able to access that fish. Oh yeah, I could put put it right here, and then I have access. Or maybe over here, and just have access to these fish and all these other resources. Who knows? I could just I'll plan it out as I go. <clears throat> okay.
One of my main limiting factors in uh, Beyond Earth is health. Like, it's your city health. But I, whether or not... Okay, by health, it's kind of like um, how healthy your cities are. Yeah. Uh, it has a little... A display. For that. You should really watch your health of your spearmen as well. I keep forgetting about those guys. You might want to fortify them or something. Or get yeah. them or get them really far away. Well, from those are just warriors and I wasn't really caring enough about them to <laughs> do anything. Hey man, my name's Soul. But that doesn't mean I have a soul. <laughs> oh shit. How many cities do you have? Four. Ah. I don't see a reason as of right now to get another city. I've already got plans for it, I think. Two more, and then I'm looking for a third. I think I'm thinking about another. A th I'm looking at a third spot. And maybe four more, but I'm going to let you expand over there. And going upwards should be good for you. Yeah. Because we're about to bridge the gap here. You're pretty soon. Where are your settlers going? One square up. Oh, okay. Or one space <laughs> is a better way to put it. One polygon a little less figure part portion that way. <laughs> well, yeah, one polygon in the upperly direction. There you go. I said upperly. Not leftery or rightery. Upperly. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that one... Let's go on over here. City size seven, five, four. Hey, eight, discovered ten. some runes. One space forward. And Two space found. Back. Do the usual, unless I can purchase. I don't want to purchase that. My bad. Okay, so... Okay. Go to this one. There we go, that should increase the food for that city. I want Saitsuma to be growing rapidly. Mm. Considering it has a lot of coin around it, and I kind of need that right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of coin coming from that one. The one with the forest? On with the forest. Saitsuma and Kagoshima, Kagoshima are gonna yeah. be. You have gold over there, and you have horses. I also have wa I also have a river. Yeah, and an oasis. You have some cattle, horses, more cattle. Yeah, you'll be fine. I got some horses, horses, some cattle. I do not know where all of my workers are. Oh, okay, so I have a worker going to a site to develop the land of Saitsuma, and I have one currently going developing Osaka. Oh, there you go, then. Apparently, Tokyo has a Stonehenge thing going. I think that's my mon my uh, monument or whatever. Okay, so I finished mathematics. Uh, well, where are we going now? Okay, so you finished mathematics, I'm doing, hang on, 
I am doing philosophy, so you, I suggest you do construction. And I was going to go for ironworking next. Okay. Oh, dang, I, uh, this video is about 25 minutes longer than it should be. Any who's it, I'm going to leave you guys with your peace, and may you be having the peace and enjoying it. Well, technically it's not 5 minutes too long, because my videos range from 20 to 30 minutes, but I try to keep it around 20 minutes. Any who's it, adios.